Hello everyone and welcome, I'm Michael B. I hope you are doing great today. If you're new to this channel, please consider to subscribe and or leave a comment. And while we are at it, smash that like button and the notification bell too. I will surely bring you more videos on simulation, survival and strategy games every week. If you've been here before, welcome back! Hello, welcome back to another episode here in Satisfactory been quite busy since the last time as you can see here we have had a moving day all our stuff we had over here has been moved inside behind me and uh, this is the um, the basic setup that I've been doing for every mine uh, just uh, you know could be overkill but uh, yeah I just thought it would be pretty awesome to do it like that uh, we still need to unlock a lot of uh, walls and uh, what else not in the awesome shop I haven't gotten that far yet that's why there's no well, there's roof, but it's flat. Uh, we're gonna play around with some more windows and more design. And when all comes to it, we need to do a lot of painting as well. But the idea is that on these uh, bridges here, belts will run in the uh, the ore to the factory. And already over here, over there, I'm gonna take you over there in a few seconds. We uh, have run in the coal that we found on behind the space elevator here and we'll turn around here is our little storage facility right still working pretty cool we got a lot of rods we got a lot of uh, wires we got a lot of plates and even some copper sheets I think it's uh, half full and there's the hub just going up there through the hole in the roof and we've got the awesome shop right there I ramped up the uh, uh, production of uh, all the mines so we can run flat out as mine mark one and there's room for when we're gonna expand and increase for mark three we can always put more constructors on so that's pretty awesome and right here we got the man got a little more research but not that much um, I'm looking into this one now still need, haven't come across any mycelia but we're getting some uh, modular frames constructed, so that's not far off. And uh, I need to do a setup for stators, I can see. I'm not really too bothered about the rebar gun, I must admit. Uh, but this one, that could be cool. And we can actually uh, unlock that because we got a few alien or oh, alien carapaces. That's going to take five minutes. So I got a little stack in here. I think they are... Uh, nope, not there. There they are. Yep, got ourselves 11 been out killing a, a lot of beasties and a lot of the the beasts that we have killed once they are respawning I mean it's pretty annoying but it's also pretty good because uh, we can use all the uh, the alien organs and the carapaces to uh, research so it's not that bad right let's uh, expand our tool belt there we go five minutes time that should be done I'm ready to rock and roll put you back there and oh there's another slug a green slug We've got four slugs and one yellow power slug maybe we should transform them into good usage uh here it is could might think this is a sad sad thing that they are being transformed but i think it's a good thing why can't i do that did i not unlock that i think i did or was that the uh that the uh oh i don't know that was the uh this this one the overclock i did aha uh -huh. okay so we still need to go in a yellow power shot and i guess that will be the purple down here or maybe yeah because that's the green one there and that was the yellow that we have done hmm, i don't know all right well let me just Take you down here. I put a lot of roof on. It's pretty awesome. First level is almost completed. Still some slugs here and there. Still have the walls to do there. Want to do a lot of windows so we can still have the beautiful view because it is beautiful, right? Standing in here and looking up to the sunset oh, and even the space elevator. It's kind of a pretty awesome. But uh, what are you doing there? You're not supposed to be there. Hmm. 
Right, still need to do this roof here. And what we got going on here? Well, we have the the old what is that? The iron mine, I should think. Yes. That is going into four smelters. That is uh, producing lovely stuff for us. So I know it's not much, but we can always overclock always the miner and uh, let even more iron when it comes from over there run in here and hook it up. So these ones are making uh, rods. Three constructors making rods for us. And the rods is going into screws. And one singulary rod is going up on our transport belt here, our little minibus, and also the screws there. And these are being converted into rotors, yes. There we go. And on the other side here we got got uh, reinforced iron plates made from plates and screws. Um, I don't think we have any here. Nope. These are being converted into modular frames. It's a little it's a little teeny weeny setup. But I'm all about building the factory up now and uh, we're gonna expand even further when we're gonna have the second floor then uh, most of this stuff can go up there we can duplicate as uh, we're going to have much more mines coming in right and yeah we're still waiting for the glass floor it's fine over here we got set up the cover mine going same things with the four smelters going here on the copper mine and on the other side here we are producing as yes, a little buffer I just tried to see if it uh, could could be a container down here it could so well it's just full of uh, copper ingots nothing really much there um, and here we are producing wires I think this one is producing wires as well no nope, copper sheets this one is producing wire as well which is being transformed into cables and it's been running for a while so we almost got three containers for each product uh, so three containers of cables three containers of copper plates and three containers of wires so oh, okay well maybe two containers then yep two containers all right and the concrete is one there running flat out and yeah our oil I know our oil our coal is still producing lovely down here I haven't changed anything yet so might look into that later and well concrete is uh, coming along price nice and easy as well do we need anything oops wrong button um could do a little uh, stack or two never know what we're gonna run into and also with the plates i think i set up two containers to take on overflow from the iron ingots yep they are here so of course they have decreased the total production of uh, modular frames but uh, I mean they are backing up pretty nicely uh, well they are filling up pretty nicely and sooner or later they will be backed up and then all the, the rest of the production will go into modular frames so it's just in an hour or two the, these will be full, filled up I'm using a lot of uh, materials to build the factories and for the uh, the mine uh, mini factories enclosing things call it what you will but over here yeah, here we've got a little mini mini bus with screws rods and plates on top never know when we're gonna use that maybe you're gonna let them run upstairs for further production but here we got look at this look at this guess what it is it's iron ore and coal that's right forgot to mention that I've uh, in between episodes I have uh, in between recordings I have uh, unlocked uh, the uh, the melee combat improved melee combat got a slash stick here a scenic basher I love it and of course we got the basic uh, steel unlocked so we can build foundries and I also unlocked the very I think it's called transport that's the truck and the train station um, no not the tr train station the truck station uh, not gonna but not gonna play around with that just yet but over here 
we have all the good co got two co nodes put on one belt and no I need to upgrade it because that's it doesn't matter but I only have one mine of iron so I think we'll be good good to go as is and I'm gonna run the other iron ore it's over there and I don't know if it's gonna join into here or we're gonna find a second iron ore patch but uh, yeah all in good times here's the first coal mine up of course we're not using anything and it's just merged into coal built that's coming from here and we really like some lights that could be cool and the iron mine is coming from over here oh i can see i missed a little foundation there just take care of that if we can there we go got it yep and here comes in the iron and i was running around to look after some quartz and i did find some mines i found two mines i think it should be more or less behind this even been out there yeah i'm building some basic foundations there's a lot of evil nasty nasty bite not bite as you say that's factory there's a lot of nasty uh unfriendly environment out there so we're gonna take a look at that later hope oh, there's also one there oh it's 2000 so that's not that far away so that is why i just left room for yet another belt to come in then we can run the uh yeah, the quartz on this these belts as well. So that is pretty awesome. Getting there, we are moving up the ladder of research. Uh -huh. All right. So first thing I want to do is I want to run over to the mines over here, back at the space elevator, and hook that up into our factory. So I like to uh, put the conveyor belts on the uh, conveyor poles or stack conveyor poles stackable because um, then you don't have to jump around that much the slide getting in the way of the conveyor belts all the time one two three four five it takes five the max So one, two, three, four, five, yeah. What's it going to do with you? Are you going to be you no? Know, that's we do however want to do something like this. Yeah, I think that's fine. And just to correctly, we're just gonna put this up temporarily. Can delete this again. Five C to be the magic number. Oh yeah, it becomes a little annoying incline. Do we have a merger on here? We do not. I didn't complete this setup. How are we going to do this? Um, yeah, something like this. And once we get the uh, the wall attachments for our power, then uh, this is going to be deleted as well and put in nicely instead. Right, what do we need? Uh, logistics and need a merger. And we can. And good enough, yeah, it should be fine. Align it, align it with a cure. Um, fine. Well, it works. Awesome, awesome. You don't have any power, or what are you just? full got no power oh yeah i didn't hook it up uh, makes sense so 
one goes there. There. Perfect. And so we actually don't need that. And you uh split here. Yep. You're all fine, take the boo, and you're set for you are not set for oh. Set them to iron them. Doesn't really matter. And you were what? I forgot already. Normal. Oh, well, that's fine. Normal at 60, right? Yep, 60 per minute. This is. That's gonna change. Forward to Mark 3. Uh, we're gonna put you on. That. Too long? No, we're not. The bottom, yeah. Oh, you were perfect. Go there. Perfect. Ah, well, almost perfect. Go. And we're going to run to you. See? We got the setup more or less complete. And that's the cover. No, that's the uh, cover. Yep, that's the cover. Good. Set for cover? Nope, you're not. Oh, yeah, and uh, so I just saw the criterion. I also uh, got that unlocked. So. Uh, that's nearly just in our backyard. I hope the time fits us right. We can just end this episode of us going for a little criterium um, trip. Because I do really want to get my Robo legs, so to speak. Best runner. Yep, yeah, thank you. Gonna run on top. I mean, we could let, let this run on the, the lower part and then just let it go up when we come over here, but I'd like to do it like this so it's more consistent. That. So actually, we can delete this, right? Reason to have more items than necessary. Just gonna contribute to future lag. have more entities as requested it should be correctly technical terms right looking good looking good yeah and it almost fits i mean i think there's an engineer somewhere along the line that's it's not without a job anymore but uh, i mean this is not so bad you can live with that that's okay but this one yeah that's a little off so I'm not really sure how we're gonna, gonna fix that in the future, uh, but hey, we'll find out. We will find out. All right, so let's get on with building our little steel setup. We need a lot of steel pipes to be able to unlock some of these next things. Run over here in the hub to see what's that all about so as i said tier 3 is everything is unlocked in here coal power very cool air transport truck station yeah tractor basic steel production of course is uh, a tickety boo and these are the ones that we need to get to the space elevator so we're gonna work us ourselves toward that one and uh, tier 4, advanced steel production, yep. uh, in case it does, I don't know, I don't like these, well I think they're pretty cool but it's just, uh, I got some bad memories of them, and even heavy modular frames, here it begins, here we go, uh, stators, let's take 
steel pad, I think. Motors that take stators and rotors. That's that should be okay. And then the automated wiring is also going into the space elevator. Right. But what I want to focus on now actually is getting up our steel production so we can start making height but tubes moving around the map a little, just a little bit faster eh? and uh, yeah we need copper sheets we got loads of copper sheets and that's lucky because that is what you are using to build all this cool stuff so we don't have any shortage of that one uh, industrial case encased industrial beams we it's 50 we can handcraft those uh, so that's just a lot of concrete and a lot of steel uh, beams that should be fine so steel pipes we also need a lot of and what's the next? three steel ingots for two pipes okay can we see what it takes for the one four for one hmm. i think they changed the recipe on that i think they crank it up by one for each i think it was three before and then it was one to one the update or was it three to three to one and then one to one not really sure i can't remember but anyway it's been it's more expensive now but hey no issues no worries all right as far as i remember things should be done here yep expanded tool belt excellent tool belt has been expanded hey Oh, well, that's it. Was that it? Oh, you're not blabbering on? You used to do that. Okay, well, let me see here. Oh, yeah, sulfur. Uh, I handcrafted uh, 50 of these. And we are now able to make nobilisks. And that needs steel pipe as well. And detonators, so, yeah. And the rifle. Oh, yes, please. Oh, yes. Now we can go into some combat action. Rifle cartridges. Yes, please. Yes, please. Uh, what do we got down here? Maybe Mark II? Mark II rifle? Mark II. These rifle cartridges and Nobilis explosive. Hmm. That sounds pretty cool. That's, uh, I can only wonder what that consists of. Can you just shoot with the uh, Nobilisks? <laughs> you can shoot the Nobilisks. <laughs> that's gonna be hilarious I can't wait for that one found some more uh, crystals so we are now here I only have 60 so we really need to go get to those crystal uh, ores and yeah reinforced iron plates we got a lot of so that's also one thing and here we can yeah we got a yellow one we got a yellow one just just down here Ooh, there's the yellow one bread for the same purpose and start one two three fast one thank you oh that's the purple one yep that's the purple one doo -doo. yeah we got all the materials except for a purple slug yep and we got a purple just in the backyard just down there but that requires some explosives so unless we're gonna find a purple power slug that's not heavily guarded by anything then uh, yeah we have to wait a little for that right nutrients uh yeah that requires everything needs pipes Jesus. that's done criterium yeah we're gonna look for that in a few seconds later yeah not too bothered about this one as well as said before uh this one i really like to get going but we need to find some mycelia we got the organs so yeah yeah and that we can do before we have some more crystals so mycelia yes and some criterium all right all right i really should get this going um but uh, you know i know it's not much but at least it's get it will get us going if we're gonna start up our um, hmm, if you're gonna start up our copper ore and our iron ore just to start to let an inflow of that into the awesome sink might not be much but at least it's gonna be something so that we're gonna take it on the roof and then let it run over and down 
it's just gonna be a temporary setup right so yeah why am i gonna do that oh conveniently we have just placed a little jump pad there yeah let, let's let, let's do that the time I've been running around and gathering resources and gathering stuff, then well, it's gotta be worth something. Something. Yeah. I think we can just yeah take you through the walls just for now. Again, not pretty, but it works. All right, so close you up. There we go. Get the power. Can we see if anything is green? Is there anything coming? Look at you. You there. I think you need to come with me. to do it. Whoa! Oops. There we go. Yeah. Oh, awesome. Ah, we got ingots. Yeah, that takes a long time. I do want to see how how many points the ingots are worth these days. Well, as I said before, it's not much, but it's something, right? Just gonna let that run. Sooner or later, we're gonna have a few a few coupons. Should we aim for first? I'm not sure. Gonna be some of the walls. Yeah. There. Well, we can wait with that. That one. Middle doors. Middle doors, maybe. Yeah. Door walls. I think these ones. So that's two. Windowed walls. Definitely. That's nine. Wow. So eleven. Then we are. We're pretty much good to go. And these ones could be awesome to have, but they can wait a little. Little doors, hmm. Mm -hmm. And of course, these attachments. Those are the hyper tubes. Conveyor mount. Yeah, could be very lovely. Alright, well, all good things to come. In the good old days, we had to dismantle the miners and we had to build them again if we wanted to upgrade them. This after update 3 is not the case any longer. So just before we are gonna go up to the Caterium, I just wanted to update or upgrade our miners because I've unlocked some things. Just, uh, well, we had a little cut and that cut has been quite some time, <laughs> as usual. Um, let's just upgrade this and let me just, oh. Yeah, that's that's not good. Uh, why can't we just uh, now we got room enough for it? Two layers. Can we get it? No. Oh, that's a little. Yes. That's a little stupid, isn't it? Um. Well, apparently we have to dismantle it. Uh, that was unexpected. Please hold the line. I have to do something like this, then. Yeah, because there were three power shots in here. Just really, it's a good thing I have the buffer. Buffer container. This is when it comes in handy. Right. So let's just build the mark uh, two again. Uh, turn you around, please. 
And we can do that because the belt is in the way. Please move. Thank you. And this. Here we go. And the mark. Three conveyor belts. There we go. Thank you. Alright. And of course, we need some power. And the power bubbles right there. Cool. Yes, so I just wanted to update or upgrade the miners because we were running flat out on power. Just before I wanted to go up and show you the criterium, then I had a burnout and just, oh no. Then you don't have enough any other resource and then you have to go high and craft and then you, uh, yeah, well, so I don't know, four hours have been uh, gone by since the last cut and now we're here. So that's how that works. Right, um, let me see. Just gonna get rid of the screws again. Sort you out, because then we are one minor short, and then we should have some more room. Sorry, so what I wanted to do is just to do this upgraded. No issues. Oop, ta da! Look at that. Got all power, and it got connected, and. Well, we just have to wait for it to start up again. Got power, right? The power line. Huh? Uh huh. Oh, where's the power line? I'm a little bit confused. There's no power line, but it's running on power. Uh, okay. Oh, I'm not to complain. Uh, we just need to beef this bad boy up to 120. That will do, yes. Then we can always expand the coal uh, generators out here, if we need. I think we should be good to go from now on. Yeah, so these are impure notes, it's a little unfortunate. But I mean already. Ah. Alright, I guess we'll just leave some wires there. So what we got to play around with now is uh seven hundred and fifty megawatts. That's not much. I was thinking if we should put in two more, so we are just running flat out on a thousand. Well, that's going to require that we need some rotors, and we are fresh out of rotors, so we need 20 rotors. We got cables, we got iron plates, yeah, we need to handcraft a little more. Found it. Oh, what's you doing up there? Hmm. I'm a little bit in doubt if uh, the water can contain all of these. It seems to be all right now. But adding another extra one more, it should mean the coal can keep up now. The water, maybe. Does we have room to place down one more in the middle down here? Uh, don't we? Can we take a peek? Yeah, there's just room for one more down there. And uh, if needed, uh, I think I'm gonna do that between recordings. I think we're okay now for power. I uh, don't want to ramp up the crazy amount of power running on coal because we're gonna either dismantle it sooner or later or it's just gonna be held idle when we are moving further on to fuel, uh, fuel power and well maybe nuclear I'm not so sure I never really bothered about the nuclear because I think it was so fun to try it the first time but then it just became too tedious. Well, not too complex because that's the name of the game, but it just became a little. Uh, now it's not fun anymore. So, as you can see, I've been building a lot of uh, stuff. <laughs> Try to uh, lay out the final structure of the factory. It's going yay high. This is the rooftop, and we just want to expand it out even further and just play around with a little, uh, with some uh, textures and some designs and uh, when we get unlocked more good stuff we have these crates all over the place here no good 
Miss. Oh, yes. Um, let me just take you up to the Kaiterium. It's up there. In case you have noticed. It's gonna go pretty fast. Because I have unlocked the hyper tubes. So, of course, we're gonna play around with that just before we're gonna wrap up the episode. Yeah, I'm full with stuff everywhere. It's pretty good. I haven't done much else. Just build more containers. Just so they're going up on the second floor. I thought that would be more appropriate than just running around and uh, hauling conveyor belts along the walls and up and down, back and forth. Then we can use have containers as buffer. And as we're using the resources, then we can just delete them and just run. A and we have lift up in the end. And let's just see. I haven't been over here for a while. Uh, this has been running flat out since we put it up for an, well a couple of hours now. Just input the ingots only. So I'm not expecting it to be that much. Oh, look how very nice. It's coming in one and the other. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> let's show you the... Distribution of 50% right there, merging. If anyone uh, should ever be in doubt of calculations, then we have it right there. And while we're here, why don't we upgrade this to conveyor belt 3 so it goes a lot faster. Something like that. Yep. And we should upgrade it all the way back because then it's gonna go, what, three times faster or something? Oh, are we ready? I don't know, 10, 10 coupons or something? Ooh, 20! Oh, okay. Well, that's nice. Then we can unlock, unlock some stuff next time around. That's pretty awesome. I got some good ideas what that needs to be. So, let me see. First and foremost, I want to upgrade the uh, the mine when we are up there as well. Uh, so, Caterium. Oh, was it? Production. There. Uh, we have a portable miner and we are, have one up there, so we need encased industrial beams, 10 of them. We can handcraft those pretty fast. I need a setup for those as well. Yeah, 54. Let's make a... Uh, oh, 9, it seems. What else we might need? I don't know. Maybe some containers. We got some rods. Eh, we might be fresh out of rods. We'll get some more rods here. Good, all right. Because here I've tried to do some little setup and all the pipes are running, all the tubes are running behind this wall. And that is going directly to the criterion. And uh, yeah, that one is going to the first floor and that one is going to the second floor. So, and this is the third floor, that's all the way on top, and, um, well, one, two, and three, that's not going to be confusing at any time soon, but I wish that we could have some writings, or at least, I don't know what I can put down to show where I'm going, maybe some resources uh, that needs to be assembled or manufactured, then I know that, and that should be on the third floor or something like that. Some unique coding. But let's, um, yeah, and uh, sooner or later we're gonna have the wall attachment. Uh, I just did this. Uh, you can place down the wall, and then the entrance of the tube run on the other side of the wall and just place it down. It goes smooth. It's not pretty, but it works. And uh, well, once we get the, uh, the attachment in the uh, awesome shop, I think it is. Might as well be able to get them right about now. Uh, attachments. Yep, here they go. Hyper tube wall attachment. Two coupons. And that's the pipeline. Okay. So we need... Well, actually we need all of those to make it more pretty factory, right? So that's 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Then we got 9 left. And yeah. You know, we need buy that one. So we need a lot of more coupons. So I think we're going to wait with the attachments. But... Uh, here goes. It's pretty funny. I love it. Go. I'm going up. 
And and there we go. Around. Moving upwards. The first floor. And the second floor. And the third floor. Ta da! Really awesome. And down here we have the criteria more. Ready? One more trip. Go! Do love the hyper tubes. They're so fantastic. Can you imagine if the, these connectors is not opening up? It's just keep red splat. Whee! Ta da! That was fun. So, this is the rooftop. I'm just playing around with a little designs here. I think it's gonna look something like this. Not quite sure. I'm gonna keep uh, the same down there. I've done exactly the same. Just the uh, ramps and then the walls up and then going one in, two in, and then up. I don't know. Just just playing around. Maybe this will wanna be one single air and then flat out on the rest of the roof. Or we're gonna make some kind of a ghost up and down. You can. Make some pretty cool patterns by using the ramps alone. I mean, there's uh, three patterns, or three ramps. Uh, I'm going to take a look here, so you can make kind of pattern that one goes up and then goes two up and four up and then goes down, up and down, and played around it with the last uh, last uh, playthrough I made. Uh, so it's pretty funny to to see how creative you can be. So why are you? we fresh out of power again? Really? I don't believe that. I just think I haven't hooked it up. We absolutely are. Why are you... Huh? 450? What? I just ramped you up. Is it because of the water? Why do we ever have a power shortage when I'm up here? Really? Really, really. What's going on down there? No, you're running flat out, all of you. And the water seems okay too. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, that seems strange. Hop. No, no hop. Off. Oh, oh that's that. Oh. Well, it looks like it's uh, not finished, no, but uh, very interesting. Hmm. Cave here. Oh, oh, I'm stuck. Am I not? Yeah. But cool, a way out. Come on, come on, we do it. Oh, so maybe you have to run. Ah, oh, it's green. I uh, haven't hooked it up yet. Okay, yeah, I disconnected it because of the power shortage. That's why one end is red and one end is green. That and yep, there we go. Well, then we just have an excuse for where we make one more trip. Yes, yes, yes. That's right. All right, let's go again. Go, go. Red. Red is green. And hop. Hey! I love it. And here it comes. Perfect. And you are normal. So that means 60. And if we're gonna beef you up to 120, Mark 2. Uh, can't afford. No, but you got a. Uh, Mine already inside you. Doesn't that count? Oh. Okay. Well. Uh, equipment workshop it is. Hmm. An inventory. Those goddamn screws. Please make one. Go. Please upgrade. Yep. And you're doing the same with the power. Nope, you got the power. Why did you put the power wire mm, before? What is this? Strange. 
and we upgrade you as we up here we got materials Perfect. right nope that one mm, I grab you not enough space really? uh, let's use some concrete at some place we can decorate a little around here what was that? Okay, that was weird. Okay, okay, okay. Yep, you already fall all the way down to there. I haven't set up any smelters yet. I just uh, dragged it down to this level down here. And we can, of course, go take a look at that and let it be the end of this episode. Just have some way of another way down more or less safety without killing myself. Don't think that will be possible. Yeah, now we got a lot of criterium and uh, so I can get my running legs. It's a, little, uh, it's a little nuisance running back and forth like this so slowly. Um, but you know what, I want to call it an episode now. I mean, this is not going anywhere, but next time around, this is where we're going to start. Uh, we're going to set up some Cacherium smelting going on, so we can start making some a lot of quick wires, so we can get through the research research tree of Cacherium. So, thank you very much for watching, I really appreciate it, and until next time, take care, stay safe, and keep cool. Bye!